All right, so let's start using Teachable Machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click this beautiful blue Get Started button. And I'm going to click it. And it's going to redirect me to these three categories. Now, you can choose what type of project you want based off these categories. But for this one, we're, we're going to do an image project. So we're going to click that. Now, the first class we're going to have is a dog class and the next one will be a cat class now personally i love cats so let's do cat and dog data set and since i love cats more i'm putting cat first so if you're a dog person i'm sorry but i love cats and i gotta represent my cat so i'm going to search up uh sorry uh cat and dog data set not the one I was looking for, but here, let me go on Kaggle. So if you want n nice data sets, you'd have to go on Kaggle. And here I'm going to search up dog, cat and dog. And this is the one I want, the one that's 218 megabytes. And it's last updated two years ago. So I'm going, going to download this and I'll let it download. So uh, once it's done, done downloading, I'll um, restart the video, but I'll see you guys once it's done. All right, so my file just finished downloading. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to extract this folder and I'll extract it here. It doesn't really matter where it is, but you'll notice that there's a test set and a training set. So the test set. So in neural networks and in deep learning, the test set is only used to test your neural, neural network with images that the neural network hasn't been introduced to beforehand okay so okay so this just finished downloading so normally the test set is a lot smaller uh, in this one it's a thousand images so there's a lot of images to test your your neural network with but for now we're just going to use the training set and as you can see there's four thousand or four times as more images in the training set than the test set so i'm just going to drag and drop all of these images Doesn't, I don't have to do, I'll just do 2000 for now. I don't want to drag all of them. And so I'm just going to uh, click upload and then drag and drop. Okay. And it's going to do that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go into the dogs directory and just pre select these so that once this is done loading, I can just. Uh, drag and drop it and I'll do uh, the same amount of images you'll want to make sure you um, have the same amount of images for each category or else the neural network is going to learn um, for example to predict so let's say we have 70% um, cat images and 30% dog image images then what the neural network is going to do is it's going to predict cat 70% of the time. So you'll want to make sure you have both um, equal amounts in your data set of each category, okay? So it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but as you can see, 1998 is very similar to 1950. So that's not gonna cause any problems with our neural network. So I'm going to get back to you guys once this is done and I'll see you guys then. All right, awesome. So it just finished um, adding all the images. So now I can train the model. But before I train the model, I want to show you guys these different parameters that you can tune. So the first parameter is the amount of epochs. So an epoch is how many times you're going to iterate over the data set. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you can just check here. But yeah. Um, we'll set this to 50. 50 is a good amount. If Normally, if you start going to a, a 100 or a 1,000, especially on a teachable machine, you're just going to end up overfitting your data. And overfitting is um, pretty much just... It's, it's becoming uh, 
too accurate on that data set and it only learns to predict that data set so anything that comes outside of that data set it won't be able to predict crystal hi crystal <laughs> the, the students say hi to you too <laughs> Okay, and the batch size is how many images we're inputting into the neural network each time we do an e uh, each time we do, a, um, you know, a batch is a set of samples used in one iteration. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. Learning rate. That's you don't have to tweak this. It's better not to. If you want new results, it's just the thing with Teachable Machine is that it only gives you a set of parameters to tune and you're not really customizing this neural network for your own personal use so it's these neural networks aren't too good but later on in the course i'm going to teach you guys how to use a pre-trained neural network so one trained by google and then you can just use that pre-trained neural network and customize it so you can use it on any data set that you want so you have all those optimal weights and you're just transferring it to your own data set or own use and you can get extremely good results on huge data sets um, but for now uh, let's train this model and it's going to prepare the training data and it's going to, it's this is going to take a, l a little while you might get like uh, a warning that your browser is not responsive you'll just want to keep that and just wait until it's done but yeah, so I'll see you guys once this is done training or once it starts training and we'll start talking about it. All right, so my neural network just started training and as you can see, it's training pretty quickly. Uh, we're already iterating over these images pretty quickly. So we've done it six times, seven times. Pretty good, pretty good. So I'll see you guys once it hits 50 and from there we're going to export our model and we'll test the neural network to see if it's actually doing what we we think it should do so i'll see you once it's done all right so my neural network just finished training now to test it i'm going to change this webcam to file and from here i can drag and drop any image so i'm going to go to go into my test set and in my test set like i said um, these are all images that the neural network has not been previously introduced to. So we're getting some new results. So I'm going to drag and drop this image and beautiful. We're getting a hundred percent on our image. So I input an image of a cat and we're getting a hundred percent as you can see. Now let's try a dog just to make sure we're not, make sure we didn't just get lucky there and beautiful dog. So now we have a neural network that can predict whether an image has a dog or a cat and that's that's a great stepping stone and from here i'll teach you all kinds of wonderful things so now let's export our model and we're going to export into a tensorflow light model and we're going to, we're going to keep it as a floating type model conversion type okay and we're going to download the model now this is going is this is also going going to take five minutes so I'll see you guys once this is done and I'll show you guys what you sh I'll show you guys what you should do with the file afterwards. So, yeah. Okay, so my neural network just finished downloading. So, I'm going to show in folder and I'm going to extract this folder. And once it's extracted, I'm going to see two files. One of type labels, one called labels, and the other called model unquant, which means unquantified, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is drag and drop these two files into my assets folder. And that's what I'll do. So once I have these two files, um, this one will act as the labels and this one will act as our neural network. So now let's go to our home.dart file and we're going to import our TF flight package and we'll start all the functions, but that's what we're going to do in the next lecture. So keep going. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to help you guys. And I want you guys to learn all this material and yeah, so keep going and I'll see you in the next video.